Don't you just love it when companies make changes to their product, send you instruction sheets that do not show the new changes, then you panic and lose your nuts. Here's a product change that BAK did for its Rolex cover. They also they also pre-installed the spacers and put a factory spring assembly underneath that you didn't see on the other videos. So when you get this assembly, don't lose your mind like I did. Wait until the next day. Get some spring clamps. Dry fit it into place. Then you find out, hey, this is the same deal. I hope. The other change they made is right here. This part of the uh, installation rails is supposed to travel over the top of your tailgate. Now, even though the instruction set does not show you these shims, I believe they go under the mounting rail right here to the end to make sure that that piece goes over your tailgate. Again, it's not in the old installation instructions that come with the new modifications. To make sure that the tailgate slides up under here, they've added additional tape down shims that goes under the mounting rail. And they gave you a package of six, but I think only one shim per side will just clear the bottom of this so your tailgate can close with the weight of the back X Rolex cover. Again, not in the instructions. All right, here the shims are in place, raising the mounting bar just above the tailgate. And this will be compressed once the Bach X Rolex cover is put on and all the weight is put on. Knowing that I might have more surprises in store for me, I decided not to cut and chip my paint with these clamps, I decided to go ahead and put a little duct tape over the grooved jaws so when I make all my adjustments I won't be moving these clamps back and forth, scraping and cutting and chipping my paint, causing a rust area. We said, what other surprises would we have in store? This side, the rail system, fastened together with 15 millimeter bolts. This side 9 sixteenth. How do you know it's 9 sixteenth? Because the 15 millimeter wrench slipped, skinned my knuckles, went and got American wrenches. Guess what? 9 sixteenth. Quality control, BAK, I think you're lacking. The next surprise I got, <laughs> the front was in the center of the core, and as I rolled it forward, I got trapped at the bed. I had to jump off the truck to finish. I'm telling you, this is becoming a fun-filled project. Oh, didn't I say there was going to be more surprises? In the installation video and the installation pack, they tell you to tighten up the uh, front end bolts with this star nut. But, because this a spring on that mounting plate, the star nut won't turn. You're going to have to use one of those 13 millimeter supplied nuts. Again, not in the instruction. I think I just figured out their modifications. You got one 13 millimeter nut, lock washer, washer, rubber gasket, you get a star nut, rubber washer, regular washer, lock washer, and you get two bolts to put in the sucker. Now that is more secure going down the highway. But damn it, if you make the changes, give us the goddamn instructions. You sent your kids to school to be an engineer, teach them how to install this crap.
Four days after I sent them the email telling them that when I closed the tailgate cover, it wouldn't be flush against the tailgate. I could put my thumb under it and lift up the cover. The guy on the phone from the factory told me, well, you shouldn't have these adjustable thumb screws. You have a Ford F-150. When I first called the factory and the supplier, I said, you sent me the wrong goddamn rails. They said, no, these are the new upgrades. What we want you to do is take it off, and in this configuration, it will lay flat. Okay, we will find out. All right, the knobs are removed. Put my thumb under here, and I could still lift up the back of the flap. It's not secure. Now, the question was, should this rubber piece be inside the gate? If so, that cuts out the water-resistant feature. And remember, we had to put these shims on to raise this piece so it would be higher so the tailgate can slide under. You know what I'm finding out? Customer service at BAK Industries has no freaking idea what they're talking about. You know why? They got their heads out there. Bleep! <sighs> manufacturing has just become as lousy as the communist Chinese manufacturing and those companies who hire illegal immigrants to do quick cash labor. What quality? You know, when you send out the wrong rails, and instead of swapping them out, you continue to spoon-feed me bullshit with incompetent customer service advisors, you really tick me off, and when you tick me off, I get even. I put it on YouTube, and let America see what a crappy deal you've made, because this is not secure. This doesn't even match what you said it would do on your commercial. I've had enough of BAK Industries.